Hey guys, John here, Metal Detector South Africa, uh, out detecting uh, in the Helderberg, Cape Town area, looking for Fuhr Trekker relics, hopefully. And this is a spot where yesterday I actually picked up six or seven uh, uh, cartridge shells and a couple of bullet points. Um, the coins are eluding me, that's what I'm looking for, and I'd love to get a harmonica reed. I have found a harmonica reed in this region before, so, so there is some good stuff here, but it's all quite widely spread, so it's tough going, nice hot day. Keep watching, show you all the finds and we'll do live digs. Alright, let's see. That's a, that's a little stud. Of a probably a modern button, top of a modern button there. Very fine, gave a nice sweet signal. Yeah, it's a button, but a modern one. <laughs> Doesn't count. Whatever's here is big. Nah. This wasn't a particularly great signal, a bit of irony, but also a bit squeaky. Um, but being Fuhr Trekker, a lot of the Oxwagon, well, it was made out of steel, so it would be iron coming through. Yeah, and one hopes under trees like this, maybe uh, the guys could have buried stuff here. Yeah, under the protection of the trees. Also, it's a, it's a good marker. If they come to the spot again, they'll head for the clump of trees on the hill. Where are you? Let's get up the big boy, the big John. I actually just scraped it out onto the pointer. Wondered why it was beeping. Is it this? No. Oh, it is a bit of iron. Can't tell what it is. It's got little combs. So guys here, yeah, this is Xavier, and he looks after the goats that are roaming around here. Um, we've got some, I don't know if you can hear them in the background there, but there's uh, some cool goats walking around here. And Xavier takes good care of them. Um, whenever we come out, we see Xavier, and he, we hear him whistling, and he calls after the goats, Magai Geleit, Rupele. Me. Me. <laughs> so that's what we hear, and then we know Xavier's on his way with his goats. Some more. This is another part of this, whatever that is. And then there's some more in the hole. Here's some more here. It's just all over. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder what this was. Nice. Yeah, there's my dent eye. Cool. It's a mystery. Not sure what that is. It gave me a good workout. Nice signal out in the open. 65. Quite consistent. Okay, it's out. Whatever it is, it's out. We have a bullet. Another bullet. This is quite an old one and it's been flattened. So, then if they flattened it on purpose or just over time, maybe implements. Sure. Starting off the day nicely. This is a 
excellent spot. So what I want to do today is I'm going to venture now around this open section. It's going to make for easy hunting. Uh, there won't be much trash and maybe we find something there. Oh, I went and broke it. Damn it. Cool, that's nice. Good way to start the day. Jumping around 50s. So it could be a bullet casing, a deep one. Let's check it out. I think it's quite deep. Can you believe it? It's a little rivet. The tiniest, tiniest, tiniest piece. Look how small that is. Had me going. Yeah, so just at the base of this rock, got a nice, it's a bit all over the place, jumpy 60, goes to, yeah, 50s, 60s, but also got a 70 come through. Um, I don't know if it's deep or not, let's just see if we can feel it, hear it rather. Here it with the pointer there. Ah, oh. oh, here it is. It's a bullet. It's a bullet. Right there. It's another bullet. Here we go. Hey. What is that? See that? Same, same. Same, same, no same. <laughs> oh, love it. Let's see if there's anything else. No, we are done. 60, 60, 70. Starts there. And oh, that's sounding really sweet now in the seventies. Uh. Oh, busted. It's a lid. Just a modern junk lid, probably a small little half jack. Some eggs. Had a nice little whiskey here. <laughs> yeah, that came through nicely. Yeah, the finest, finest, finest of a little aluminium flake. So fine. So sensitive. All right, here's a nice ding, ding. 90, very sharp 90. It's not deep. Uh, 
Yeah, I think it's iron. And I've just played with the iron settings, so it's like kind of breaking through. Little end of the squeak coming through. I think that's what it is, a piece of rust. Yeah. All right, so here's a, a nice 40, 40, mid 40s. Still there, but 41. Yeah, here's something. Let's see what this is. This, this is interesting. This looks like a, a handle of some sort. It's a nice thread inside there. It's old, that's cool. So it could have been like a drawer handle. So that was coming in, yeah, that's 50. 49. Nice one, interesting. Old relic. Here we got a nice target. It's got a grunt and then it comes in at a 60. And this area, I think the water runs down here, so a lot of the topsoil has run down. So this little outcrop is exposed. So I'm gonna hunt around here. 70s and then it grunts as it comes off. Here we go. It's a modern light bulb from an old halogen bulb. What a pity. Yeah guys, so this is the end of another hunt. Um, it was good. I took a wider, wider route away from the trees where I know there's, you know, there's bullet casings and things like. I just wanted to explore a little bit further and see what we got. It wasn't much. I came back to the, to these trees and this lookout point, and I found some more bullets. So yeah, uh, all in all, another good day. Um, on the way here, I wrecked another spot. So I'll definitely be going to a different spot on the next video, which is just slightly higher up. Looks quite nice there. So make sure to. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. Thanks guys, cheers, cheers, happy hunting.